more common than standard car fires, but they do require a different approach. Yeah, Josie Sturman explains why it's a race against time to get first responders ready. It was bizarre from the beginning. California firefighters attacking a fire that began when a car crashed into a garage, sparking a blaze that also ignited the house. It's the kind of scenario firefighters are well trained to handle. But in this case, there was a twist, an electric vehicle at the center of it all. And I just remember some of our firefighters standing there shooting so much water at that electric vehicle and then not going out. It was just like something I'd never seen. That electric vehicle not only burned for hours, but once the fire was out, it reignited on the tow truck. From the get-go, I got to see what exactly, you know, a fire involving electric vehicle can do and the dangers they possess. <laughs> It's an education firefighters across the country are getting as they encounter fires involving electric vehicles or EVs. It's such a new phenomenon, there's no nationwide data tracking how often they happen. But Spotlight on America uncovered at least two dozen serious fires in recent years from coast to coast. This Tesla spontaneously burst into flames on a West Hollywood street. This one in Pennsylvania burned until there was nothing left but a charred shell. And this Chevy Bolt went up in smoke in Virginia, stunning its owner. It took them an hour to get it under control with tons and tons of water. It flared up again. The firemen, you know, came back and did the whole thing again. Just more and more, more water. It can take potentially 10 times more water to knock down an EV fire than a standard car fire. Bruce Bouch with the U.S. Fire Administration says they've seen scenarios where it took as much as 10,000 gallons. That's because of the batteries inside, which can be incredibly tough to cool. And as this test showed, can even generate enough heat to ignite themselves, even 24 hours after appearing to be put out. That's when it becomes a problem because you have to cool that and it's trapped within a case. So how do you do that with a lot of water? It's the kind of thing experts at the Maryland Fire Rescue Institute have long understood. They've been at the forefront of figuring out how to tackle EV fires. Spotlight on America got an exclusive look at the training they're giving to first responders in Maryland and beyond. So this is a completely different ball game when you have an electric vehicle involved in an accident or a fire. 100%. There's a lot more hazards that are presented to us. Hazards ranging from those fires that reignite long after being extinguished to the potential of electric shock due to these orange high voltage lines. So the voltage is high enough that... Instructor Jason Leone says fighting these EV fires requires a different mindset and approach. Just accessing the batteries is its own struggle. In some cars, the battery packs are in the front, some are in the back, some are underneath, some are in the trunk, and the fuse boxes are in different places also, which makes it a huge challenge for us. It's a lot of information you have to know and retain and be able to recall in just a couple seconds. A ton, a ton. Very difficult to do, especially in the middle of the night or under high stress situations. That's why he told us training is so essential. But as we're discovering, even with a rapidly growing list of makes and models of EVs on the road, the training needed to fight their fires isn't keeping pace. A lot of jurisdictions don't have that. A lot of states don't have that. So if you're not staying on top of it, you will just get left behind. Left behind in a battle to keep first responders safe as the popularity of electric vehicles on our roads accelerates. I'm Josie Sturman for Spotlight on America. And coming up next week, Spotlight on America reveals the findings of a months long na nationwide investigation into who's getting the training needed to fight these EV fires and why some places may be less prepared than others. From 